I'm on uh, one of my rambles guys and I thought hey why not I switch the camera on this is the connection this is the connection between Buzabuja and Moshe Slok these uh, cliffs are very dangerous very flaky and it's windy blowing me over the cliff there's a big drop down there and I I can hardly it's blowing me this way I'm gonna go up this way I think it's not too bad you could walk it go on Steve go for it if I end up in the drink it's your lot's fault it's blowing me this way that's the problem and they're really flaky flaky cliffs I don't like them at all this and I can feel my body swaying I'm gonna go this way <laughs> this is my island in the sun dear custard Steve I could feel my it's coming this way like anyway Marsh's Slock over there I don't like it right on the edge oh I, I don't mind but I was like even now look at this wow look at this this cactus just in the middle of nowhere isn't that beautiful he's enormous he got chopped a bit and my plants got chopped a bit I had a lovely jasmine and the leaves are Ooh. the leaves are like chopped in half or chopped down with the ice we had the other day so this is the connection between Buzabuja uh, I just felt like walking this way there's a lovely tower and I saw the lights on and I, I don't know there must be something going on there used to be like a, 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 an organization or something that did open it once one Sunday in every month but I think since Covid anyway I over to you guys because it's not good walk sideways if you get a place like this that gravel is the is the devil you know <laughs> the stones anyway we're on our way look at that guys look at that new pier of Marshall Slock um, I heard something about the beach as well I'm gonna go past the beach I'm gonna go into Marshall Slock but I won't bore you about this bit here because it's a bit dirty where the boats are you know they make the boats uh, the dockyard or boatyard or whatever it's called but this is nice eh I thought I'd switch the camera on it's a bit windy threatening of rain I did a video in Burzabuja walked along the front but then it looks like it's in Marsh's Lock now it's following me guys let's have five minutes on the beach because I bought me bungees with me oh I'm cold cold wind supposed to be about 15 today but I'm feeling it colder that in the with the wind <laughs> sorry about that How are you gonna get down Steve now that is the question we can do it these lo long strong legs made it this is a nice area now they they did it up a little bit and I, I can see they're doing some different bits and pieces nice field there all those big cactuses are beautiful eh? I had one so many years ago when I had the house oh too much work having a I'm getting old guys big garden and painting and it was getting on a bit it was like about 30 years old and technology has moved on since then the they call it the shipka in the roof I'm sure because it kept on flaking and pushing the plaster down so I decided to get rid of it get a, a flat but the work didn't go away how do they get down to that oh from here probably 
I was thinking, how do they get down to that plateau? You know, got a bit of a a scuffle to get down, or whatever the technical word is. But it's nice here. Oh, they're doing something here, look. They're building a wall. Get off my land, you bloody tourists. Oh, they're building something to keep the soil back. But what a lovely area. Shall I nick that cactus? I want one of those. <laughs> and one of these as well. That's a really unusual plant. Bersabuja was lovely. The people in Bersabuja, they just have just talk conversation with you straight away, smile at you, and you can't help but say hello to them. And a lot of them think, obviously, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a tourist. Well, uh, having a nice holiday. I'll tell you a story one. You know, we do that orange fair in uh, Ta Ali with the other, the other president, not this one. The woman, she was, she was a lovely lady. She was. Uh, Oh yeah, they're doing like uh, an area here, rising it up. This is hard work here. Anyway, I went to buy some oranges in Ta'ali. She every year they do this thing for charity, and she was got all the the security around her and the and the uh, cameramen and everything. And I was doing a video, and she she walked straight to me. I thought, oh wow, I must be a VIP. And she said, "Hello, how are you?" I said. In English, she was speaking, and I said, "Yeah, good, thanks." She said, "Having a nice holiday." <laughs> Here's the beach of Marshes Lock. This is a bit flaky here. Look, I don't know. He's blocking off his land here, and he's pushing everybody over. So I don't know how long it's going to last. It's flaking away. But look at the water. Even in Bersabuja, cha cha cha. It's very, very clear. So here's the beach. A bit dirty because don't forget it's winter. Nobody cleaned up the seaweed. But not dirty plasticky. Dirty nat nature. Because I heard something out there, way out there. There's like a whole field of this sort of grass. And when it's rough weather, it chops it off and it, then it sends it into the beach. Hey, it's nice here. Shall I change into my bungees? I've been here, or I've swam here, but look how, how lovely and clear. Just a little bit further out, and it comes in dried seaweed. Hey, if I fancy having a Chinese tonight, I know where to come for me seaweed. I like how they're planted, if it's natural, I don't know. Oh, it's a very natural beach. Oh, this is private. It's suddenly a boathouse turned into a two-story. <laughs> Stop ranting, Steve. Anyway, this is the beach of Marsha Schlock. Oh, I think Lyle, he, he likes to come here to eat. He likes to fish here because I've met him here fishing. We're on our way to Marsha Schlock. You know, Marsha Schlock, the fishing village. Steve, we didn't know Marsha Slock had a beach, but now you know. In the summer, they've tied it up a lot more. This is just like dried seaweed that's blown in. It's quite a wide beach. If you walk up, I think it's only like, oh, look at those clouds. I'm not going to get hit on the way to... It's uh, quite fair, the other side of the uh, of these ugly bit here. I'll cut in, I'll, I'll uh, take it up again when I'm a bit further over because it's a bit ugly this way it's got like boats and a lot of noise and this sort of thing oh I can feel it sprinkling a lot of stones here four higher kayak what is a soups? <laughs> Steve, you're getting old. Can I have a, a sup for hire, please? A soups, many, many soups, if you're interested. Let me see where the signpost smoothies. 
in this direction. Oh, the gate's open, so you're welcome for a sups. We're on our way over, over that direction somewhere. Meisterstock is beautiful Sunday morning. Come and uh, see the market. So we walked over the hill there from Bersabuja. I think it's here that uh, La likes to come and eat. Oh yeah, it's quite... Uh, it's quite busy. Oh, it's a nice place. I've never eaten there. I don't know what sort of food, probably fish. Most of Slock is fish anyway. A uh, couple of times on the other side of the... They, they spent I don't know how many millions on this pier, a breakwater. Ooh, look at the clouds, Steve. Aren't you worried? Tex-Mex is here, look, it's closed up. On the other side of this breakwater, there's a... where they, where they swim the horses. Oh, look, there's a... A raft that's been blown up with the water. It broke loose somehow and they... That's worth a few bob, hey? If you could get over and get it. Oh, yeah, yeah they've got the horses here. Sometimes they put them in the water to swim. Oh, wow! Look how dark it is here. Down here they put them in. Uh, unless he smiles at me, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Because these horsemen, they're a bit weird. Oh, it's coming down the rain. I'm going to go and shelter. Look at that. It's going to be on. Let's go and get some shelter. This is a bit dirty anyway. I'll cut off now. They're not going to put them in the water. Oh, but beautiful horse. They put them in here and they, they swim them out a bit, but this. Anyway, I'm going to get under shelter. It's... Oh, it's raining, guys. I'm going to shelter here for a bit and then I'll show you down in Master Schlock. It's... I just come past this... Uh, it's a bit ugly, that part, where they got the boats and things like that. Anyway, it started to rain. I sheltered for a bit. And it's okay. Oh, I've got to change the battery. Hang on guys, let me change the battery. <laughs> okay, we changed the battery guys. I'm just having a laugh with these two because he kept on, he was standing on the edge and he was telling him, go back, go back. <laughs> wow, what a blustery day in Marcy Schlock. What a blustery day. might have to a few little drops on the screen so sorry if I'm wiping it off it's just like spitting it came down quite hard but here it looks like it hasn't rained but with about 15 degrees it dries pretty quickly yeah. restaurants are not that busy well, there is a few people eating but it's not that busy Marsha's Lock Sunday morning is a lovely place time to come and market There is a few tables, but it's blooming cold outside. By the time you get the food, it'd be freezing. Can feel it coming down again, guys. I don't know where this, where it's blowing from, but it's very, uh, it's very windy and blowy. So it's. Uh, shall we go on a boat trip? How much for a boat trip? I got the tables, all right. They're all getting wet though. That's the best thing. Pizza takeaway. Lovely walk up there, some piece of pool over the back there. There's a nice walk right over the back as well. Very interesting. Let's hope I'm walking out of the rain. You've never seen Marshall's clock like this. Englishman shows you all weathers. 
this is normally where the market is here right in the center where the restaurants are not normally here I like these people standing on the edge <laughs> there was one there's a bit of a funny one I think they were Russian couple over by Popeye village she stood on the edge you know like for the Instagram post and he was saying go back a bit go back a bit and she fell off the edge oh no it was Dingley that's right it was in Dingley it happened and they had to call the rescue out to get her oh let's get undercover a lot of nice restaurants here guys lovely fresh fish you can pick today's catch and some of these restaurants have their husbands who are fishermen so you get it extra fresh well, this one is uh, quite nicely covered but it's cold to sit outside Marsh is locked on a gloomy, windy and cold day. There is a few people down this way. It's not for me this. Oh, this one busy. I think this is the lab. Ah, this is the labour club. They have good food here, and most of the labour people come here to support it. Well, I'm not sure the lens. Let me clean the lens because my glasses are all speckled. So <laughs> let's give it a quick one. You're wasting your time, Steve. It's blowing like blustery rain. What's blustery rain, Steve? Oh, wow. Got all the nets out here, look. I want to see if they still sell fish in the week. Many people told me they don't. And then some people said they do. And I was going to buy it on a decent day buy a fish and cook it out on that beach oh it's coming down a bit now let's get a bit under cover church is donging there is a few things on the Monty here there's they have a little market during the during the week oh they give it they keeping up I think everything getting wet well we are talking about Quarter past two. Hello. Hello. A lot of brats, they call it, in Mortis. A lot of junk. Mortis junk. Oh, they have got one. It is true, they sell the fish. I can smell it here. Oh no, there's nothing just like these cake things. I thought it was a lot of these biscuits, but I don't like. No, no prices on anything. This is Morty's. Oh, this is like that honey brittle thing. I'm going to get some shelter, guys. Let's see if it passes the rain. It's awful. You hungry? So much yoga. That's right, guys. I came into this labristia. Yeah. We'll have a coffee and a toast or something like that. It's horrible outside, guys. Maybe this is the rain. I'm not sure if we have some pasta. We'll have a toast here. Maybe we have to go up there and order it. Let's go and order up there, guys.
Hi. Can I have a coffee, uh, Americano? Yes. And a toasty or something? Uh, toasty. Dogs and yeah. then cheese toast. Like a ham cheese toast or something like that? Yes, I Okay. <laughs> I think it's going to come up. <laughs> I'll give you a shout when he gets here. I just ordered a toast and a, and a coffee. Get out of the rain a bit. Oh, man. Look at this guy. That's for a chip, for a toasty. Well, we'll find out. Well, let's just put you up a bit. We'll find out how much it costs. Big piece of bread, though. Look how big. Cheese and ham. That's it. I thought I was just going to get a toasty on the plate. It's a, it's a toasty with a salad. Very nice. This is like um, big. I never saw this in Malta. How big this is. Fresh salad. Wow, the salad is really good. Different salad, different dishes, <laughs> carrots, olive, black and green. Peppers and a, a really good mixture of salad. It's a bit no it's getting a bit noisy. This is um, the the Labour Club restaurant. Most of the Labour people come and support it here. I'm gonna eat my I thought it was gonna be just a sandwich to us. It's awesome. Back out in the rain soon. <laughs> it slowed down a bit, but it was a massive shower, guys. Everywhere, like everywhere, flooded. It passed over. It's still spitting a little bit. I might as well finish here, eh? It was a nice toasty there. Um, I'll leave it on the video because I was going to do a separate video. I was going to do a meal one and a separate video, but. I'll leave it on that video. Next, uh, it's uh, the part, the party laborista, the Labour Party. At the back, they've got a massive hallway and a restaurant. And every village has got a laboristi club like this. At the back is the club, I think, where they do the meetings and when the prime minister comes and everybody salutes. Bye, guys.